Greetings, Car Fanatics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wash your car using the one bucket method, as well as being able to wash your car in your own garage without a water hose and without rinsing. So to get started, let's cover what you're going to need to be able to do this. It starts with the Optimum No Rinse products. I have the standard Optimum No Rinse right here, and then the one to the right is the Optimum No Rinse Wash and Wax. Um, it has Carnuba Wax. I'm gonna be trying this one out. Additionally, let's talk about what you're going to need for the one bucket method. You're going to need more microfiber wash mitts than you normally would for a normal car wash. So with the one bucket method, you actually aren't going to rinse out the wash mitt after each use and then dip it back into your bucket of soap. Instead, you're gonna start off with you know several wash mitts in there, and this means you can use the wash mitts once, not reuse them, and then when you're done, just throw everything in the washing machine. You're also going to need some drying towels. I'm gonna to be using the Chemical Guys Gray Matter drying towels, and I have two. Um, I have a bunch of wash mitts over there for the wheels, as well as some microfiber towels to dry off the wheels. You don't wanna use the same stuff for the paint as you are the wheels, so that's why I have the two separate things. So let's go ahead and start by adding our no rinse solution to our bucket. I have about five gallons of water in there, which means I need to add two and a half ounces of the no rinse solution. Okay, now that I have the optimum no rinse added in here, I'm gonna take my wash bits that I'm gonna be using on the paint and just dropping it into the bucket and letting them soak. Okay, so I forgot to add that this method works well if your car isn't too dirty, but if your car is really dirty, you probably wanna rinse it off with a hose at least. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna work our way from the top down to the bottom, and then we're going to do a few panels at a time with each wash mitt and then switch them out. Okay, now it's time to dry off the body before we move on to the wheels. All right, we're all done with the paint. Let's go ahead and move on to the wheels. Now my wife's wheels are all pretty crappy already, so I'm just gonna use two wash mitts for it. Should be fine, I'll just do two wheels per wash mitt. And for the wheels, I'm gonna take a towel and immediately dry each one. This is a old microfiber towel that I don't use on paint. All right, I'm gonna spare you the details. I'm just gonna do the last couple wheels and then let's take the car out in the sun and take a look at the results. All right, car fanatics, let's take a look at the final results. I have to caveat and say that by no means is my wife's paint perfect, so you're not gonna see perfect results. Um, I did do a quick detail on it a few months ago, but I didn't really do that great of a job. And if you look at the paint, you know, it still has a little gloss, but you can see a bunch of swirls and holograms and stuff like that. Not perfect, but it's a daily driver and a black car, so it's almost impossible to keep perfectly clean and really all the defects show. But overall, I think the one bucket method is a quick, easy solution if you don't have access to a water hose, as well as your car isn't too dirty. I think it works pretty good overall. Looking around here, you can see the paint has a bunch of little nicks and all that. But the one bucket method, uh, I think did a pretty good job. The um, no rinse solution uh, left the car pretty clean. I don't notice any more swirl marks on the car than it had before. And everything looks pretty good. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you want to purchase any of the products used in this video, take a look at the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.